before this video starts i would love to say a huge shout out and thank you to charlie and georgios and apostles for being part of the cult member tier of my patreon love you guys so much literally you two fucking icons if you guys would like perks like getting videos early getting shout outs at the beginnings of videos and also getting to choose which video i do for my channel then check out my patreon i made a video um i made a video about my patreon like um i think a couple of months ago and so you can check that out for all the information but anyway i am so fucking excited for this video so i just want to get right into it So recently I have been selling a bunch of clothes on my vintage page and one of the clothes that I sold was this hoodie and I'm going to put a picture up of what it was but this was the first ever piece of like alternative like emo goth clothing that I ever bought in May 2021. I have been emo for like three and a half years now. Shit is crazy. Um, but selling that top, which was like the first piece of alternative clothing I ever bought, made me really think like, damn, I've been alternative for so long. Like, I should react to some of like my old alternative pictures for a video because my style has definitely evolved and has um, definitely improved. So I knew that some of my old photos were going to be cringe, they were going to be bad, but they would also be very fun to just have a laugh at and so that is what we're gonna do i got one of my friends to go through my um my photos app and just round up a bunch of like old like i guess you could call them like baby bat images because before i like embraced the fact that i was like an emo scene kid i used to call myself goth even though I didn't listen to goth music listen to emo music and d didn't dress goth in the slightest um but i just didn't really know about like subcultures back then before i educated myself but anyway let's get into the first image and this one makes me so happy because it's an image of me and one of my best friends in the entire world helios who has been on this channel not in ages but we have so many fun videos together that are some of my favorites that we've ever made i've got a whole playlist of our collaborations but jesus christ look at this outfit i don't know what is happening with this look um so this was actually a photo that came from one of the video the first video that we ever made together where we did a closet cosplay of ebony darkness dementia raven way and vampire potter from the famous goth fan fiction my immortal and i was dressed as ebony and so i have this horrendous wig on at least it's brushed but she is not a lace front i just oh look at that makeup so i think we're gonna start to see a theme as we go through these images is that i used to do essentially e-girl makeup with a dark eyeshadow look along with it uh, this is horrific and i don't i had a conversation with my mom about this a few days ago i was like why did you let me go out looking like that because let's just let's just evaluate this so there's zero base so no foundation no concealer um there's clearly no powder or contouring going on there's some blush on my nose a burgundy eyeshadow look that is really not doing me any favors and then some crusty dusty eyeliner with no mascara and no lashes and then little like crosses on my cheek because edgy and then the most disgusting like lip look so this is something that i hate to admit because it is genuinely vile but what i used to do for my lip look is i used to not have like black lipstick dark lipstick so i used to take like purple eyeshadow and put it on my lips i can't do this now because i've got snake bites and then i used to take liquid eyeliner and do like almost like belle delphine like little flicks so i used to do them really dramatically and then i used to overline the top and bottom lip i still overline the top lip to kind of get that uh, to kind of go over my cupid's bow but it's with a natural shade so it looks cute this is i just can't get over the lack of lashes because okay let's let's compare eye looks this she's clean she's snatched she i actually you know took time on this look um and it looks pulled together and pretty this is vile also i just 
laughing at the little sad girl eyebrows. My eyebrows have definitely had a transformation, which we will see later on because it gets bad. When I shaved off my eyebrows, oh, it gets horrible. So this next photo is from just like a random little, um, a random little photo shoot that I took in my bedroom. And I stole my dad's electric guitar to do it. I remember doing this. And again with the wigs, like the ratty black wig is not eating as much as she thought she was. And um, I don't know if you can see, but this was, this was like my go-to look back then was a, almost like, like a skater skirt and then layer it up with chains and then a corset over the top. That was all I would ever, ever wear on like the bottom half. I just find it funny that I took this photo because I, I do not know how to play guitar. Okay, so this is a photo that I took in a shop uh, in a town I live, which I really love. And uh, they sell like vintage dresses. And basically I was trying them on awful makeup. So I really thought that I could fully do like a snatched, gorgeous, fierce corpse paint look with eyeshadow and liquid eyeliner. Oh my god, I am so glad that I don't like associate myself with black metal elitists because otherwise I think I would have been crucified by now. And that jacket, okay, fun story about that jacket. When I was in year nine, I had a boyfriend for I think like maybe just under a month, a couple of weeks max and uh, he gave me his jacket and it was a really nice jacket and so I kept it for a couple of years. <laughs> oh fucking hell. Okay, so context to this next photo. Um, I used to be a really, really big fan of Jeffree Star. Not anymore, though I do love his music. Jeffree Star used to be a very iconic MySpace scene queen before, you know, he became a makeup mogul and an um, evil overlord. And he has this really iconic photo where he's like on the floor throwing up um, cereal. And I don't know why, but I thought it was so fierce and I felt like I had to recreate it um, with the makeup look and everything. Okay, so unfortunately we have reached the point in the timeline where I shaved off my eyebrows. Now I had shaved eyebrows for, I think maybe a year before I started growing them back out. And it did not suit me at all in retrospect. Uh, I kind of regret it, not gonna lie. I definitely regret putting my face online so much when I looked that trash. But this is a photo that I took in Berlin. Um, this is the only time that I've ever actually been outside of the UK, which is crazy. But um, this is just like another example of how this is like, if you asked me in like 2020, I think this photo was 20, yeah, 2022. If you asked me in like 2021, 2022 era, like what my staple outfit would be, I would say like a somewhat graphic t-shirt um, tucked into black, a short black skater skirt with a corset over the top and maybe some arm warmers. And this is exactly what I think of when I think of like old, like e-girl style me before I really started dressing like emo and scene. But God, and the hair as well. So this is a, towards the beginning of my transition where my hair was gr in the process of growing out. And it was at that really awkward length where the layers were just not working and i also made the really questionable decision to bleach it and i don't know why i did that <laughs> oh dear okay so this next photo is this must be um in the oh my god i remember where i took this photo this is in the dressing rooms of the h&m that is in my town and this was my first attempt at doing a scene outfit I put scene in quotations because this is not seen in the fucking slightest. As you can see, nowadays, I know what I'm doing when it comes to scene outfits and hair and makeup and aesthetics. I did not know what the fuck I was on back then, but Jesus Christ, Let, let's just let's just break this outfit down. So of course we have the iconic graphic tee tucked into a skate skirt with um, a corset over the top. And so that is not seen in the slightest. That silhouette is not seen. Uh, but I tried to make up for it with the, like, I guess the striped tights are uh, acceptable. Same with the fishnet gloves and the candy. Um, but I, what I really want to talk about is this hair and makeup because 
as you can see, I didn't really know how to do a side fringe. And so I kind of just swept everything over. And I didn't have hairspray either, so I just held it in place with clips. And I, I, I look a fucking mess. I look a fucking mess. And look at literally how disgusting. Just the random bits of hair that are sticking out. It, it doesn't even... Oh, it was just... It was not the right length to see in hair. And it's really not. And also just makeup. Okay, so we're still clearly in the era of um, my pencil brows. Where I would literally get a liquid liner. Do two quick lines. They didn't even have to be sisters. They didn't even have to be fucking friends. Um, I don't know why I put two X's uh, here for some reason. The eyeliner and eyeshadow look is still, you know dark red purple and black and all smudgy and disgusting no lash still um so this is vile and i'm so glad that i evolved from this um or however i do want to talk about these shoes now these shoes were ones that i got in berlin and they are by a brand that i'm not going to name because they are terrible uh but i got them in tk max so i wasn't buying them um I wasn't buying them like from the brand and so I got these in Berlin and they are my favorite shoes for ages and I haven't worn them in a while I feel like I should they're kind of cute oh okay see this is a slightly better attempt at a seam fit actually I'm not okay I'm not too mad at this let's break this down so I think at this point I realized that I couldn't do it with my natural hair so I did it with a wig which I think was a better call we've got um we've got a little a bow which is seen all of the studded belts and bullying belts that is seen um but like the little short shorts i i was like 14 in this photo who was letting me go out in shorts that were basically underwear like these look like boxes the pockets are longer than the actual fabric i was for i okay so you guys, I used to over-sexualize myself in my outfits from such a young age, which I've come to really regret. But it makes me kind of sad to see pictures like this where, I mean, back then I was feeling myself. I really thought that I was that bitch. But now, I mean, I still wear the same outfits, but it's like, I'm 17 now, so it's a bit more acceptable. But this top, this is the top that, um that I sold recently that spurred me to make this whole video. This is the first ever piece of alternative clothing I ever bought. So this was when my makeup style evolved into something truly diabolical in January of 2023. <sighs> I'm facing my fears. I'm facing my demons. This photo, this photo has haunted me, has haunted my mind ever since, um, I grabbed this style and actually learned what I was doing. So let me just run you through the look. So I'm gonna show you guys the one where I'm not wearing glasses. So it makes it easier to see there that I look. So this was when I first did a split dye and I really miss having split dyed hair. My favorite era of my hair was when I had um, half pink, half black hair. That was really cute. But let us just run through this. So I'm wearing a filter on my face. So it looks like I'm wearing base makeup. I know for a fact that I was not. I used to be um, a no base girl. I was literally like brows, liner, blush, sometimes lips, and we're done. Now I'm like a full beat queen. But let's just run through this. So what I used to do was take a thin black liquid liner, draw two like thin lines, fill them in with black eyeshadow and then draw little lines in them because I saw Chris Motionless doing it once and um, even back then I was super obsessed with Motionless in white and so I was like oh, I must do that and you can see the horribly exaggerated um, blackout eye and the thing is the sad thing is is this is when I started actually wearing lashes and doing my lashes but you can't see because it's buried in um the the black in like the, the black liner and then i've just got this disgusting overlined fucking smart school boy nine miranda sings looking lipstick and th this was this is my vibe this was my aesthetic and a part of me kind of misses it a part of me misses when i would do like the worst makeup in the world but think that i literally just fucking ate the house but like I'm so glad that I learned from my mistakes. 
Oh, I remember when this photo was taken. Stop. Okay. So this is, I think, this is March 2023. This is when I started to actually pull myself together. Oh my god, I'm literally wearing the same arm warmers as well. This is when I started to actually be able to pull myself together fashion-wise. And this photo was taken in Cyberdog, which is um, a rave store in London. I actually revisited recently with one of my best friends, Ollie, because we went into London to see the Rocky Horror Show, the stage show. It was so good. But I remember taking this photo and just the bullet for my Valentine top. That was my favorite. That was like my first ever, I think my first ever like piece of band merch I bought for myself. And it's really sad because I due to like my issues with like my eating disorder and stuff i have lost so much weight that i can't really wear this top anymore and have it look normal i guess but that used to be my favorite t-shirt of all time and i really really i think i'm gonna try and look for it in a smaller size just because i do really love the design but yeah, no, this was such a good day. Because this was also a day where I saw another stage show. I was in London to see um, a production of Cabaret at the Kit Kat Club. Fuck, I miss this. Oh, okay, right, here we go. Now, so, so this is April 2023. I finally decided to pull myself together makeup and outfit wise. Here you can see me actually doing an actual scene look that looks fucking seen. Um, mainly because I cut, um, I used one of my wigs, I styled one of my wigs into a scene, wig that I still actually have and use to this day, but, um, you can see the tutu and the layered belts, like, there we go, but like my valentine top, okay, and look at the makeup, okay, so, this is when I actually managed to learn how to do makeup, and I evolved to, this was when I was growing my eyebrows out, and so I was trying to do a more natural brow, so it's actually kind of similar to what I've got going on now, but these are my real life brows. Um, the eyeliner looks a bit better, I've got a little bit of colour going on, and my cheeks, you guys, I look so cute in this photo, I really miss actually having like a slightly like fuller look to myself, like to my face, I think, now I just look really gaunt. And that's my fault. That's me messing up my own body. But like, damn, I was cute. And these are all the photos that I have to show because um, I think like after summer 2020, like summer 2023 and beyond is when I actually managed to pull myself together looks wise. <laughs> but that was actually really fun taking a trip down memory lane. Um, if I can uncover any more like old alternative photos, then I will so make a part two. I will see you guys in a video soon, hopefully. I've got a Halloween video planned actually, so look out for that.